is he is asking me to show him a verse or verses from the Quran. It's from Satan. Will all the Quran for me from Satan? <laughs> This is what I'm here for, to show everybody that this is from Satan, can't be from God. All of it. Amen. I'm asking you, where is the verses your God will take off? You could not show me. Where are they? What verses? Did your God, like you know, listen, if your God, he want to take verses out, he should say what verses they are from Satan. Is that right, guys? If we have, let us say, we have 1,000 CD, Two of them, or three, or four, whatever they are, they are not original. And I say to you, I will take all the fake copy out. Okay? But they are they look the same. How we will know? Which one is the one? You have to report to me, so me, I will take it off too. Because it's not only in the knowledge of God, it's in my knowledge now. Because the Prophet, he did say it in front of me. Am I right, guys? And this is Al Jalalain, not only Ibn Kathir, saying that your prophet Satan put you know put words in his mouth and he was not aware of what he is doing and what he is saying. You remember when you told me he was not aware before? Suddenly your prophet is not aware again. So what's wrong with this prophet? You said that the black Satan was over. Is that a black Satan magic or this is not magic it is Satan who live inside the prophet inside him which means you know guys how Satan can speak inside me how, how Satan can speak with me or speak by me making me say words he have to be inside me he have to control me it's about control and again you said before you said before that Satan he have no control I showed you a verse if you remember I think it was verse 15 so 15 verse number 40 39 40 the verse in the Quran saying Satan you have no power over my good servants how Satan was able to put words in the mouth of Muhammad if he was in the, from the servants of Allah if he was man of God, if he was a prophet of God. This is a contradiction for the Quran. And this is a proof that the one who made the Quran cannot be, cannot be who? Cannot be God. Because if I say to you, you are my prophet, and the one, he is my man, Satan cannot control him, and suddenly we see the Satan controlling me, I'm putting words in my mouth, it means my God is lying to me. Is that correct? And not only that, if you go and read the verse in the Quran, you will see the Satan himself saying, I have no control over the good people, not only Allah is saying that. So both Allah, Allah, and Satan, they are saying that, Satan saying, I have no control over your followers, your servant and Allah himself saying you have no control over my servant so both of them saying no way this is a proof that your prophet Muhammad he is not a good guy from the Quran because if he is the servant of God Satan according to the Quran not to me should not be controlled by Satan and if you want to read from a Jalalain or Ibn Abbas, this is the verse in English, you can read this verse and the verse after and the verse after and the verse after. And you will see Satan and Allah, both of them saying, you have no control over my followers, Allah saying, Satan is saying, yes, I have no control over your followers. I have controls all, only over deceived people. So your prophet was not from the followers of God, he is deceived. Your mic. How interesting it is that uh, you're you're um, trying to, to prove to me this thing. But you you also believe that uh, you know your 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 God was tempted to go up the mountain, this that the other. I mean, yeah, you know, the Prophet Islam was a man. Okay, we believe that he was a. a uh, a man, all right. Yes, of course, I'm bringing up the Bible again because this is uh, something that you believe in. And if 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 you want to, to um, you know, 
bring up some things that are, you know, uh, irrelevant, then why can I not bring up things that are irrelevant? Okay, you're 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 telling me that you know your God can be uh, um, tempted by the devil, but you're having a problem with our prophet being tempted by the devil. I don't I don't see what the problem is. You know, if, if you can accept that, see, if you can accept, you know, one, you know, Satan tempting your God, then why is it that you're having a problem with Satan tempting our prophet? Okay, your mic. Sir, when you say Satan was able to tempt my God, it means Satan was able to make my God sin. I will give you the mic. Do you believe really that the Bible says that Jesus is a sinner? Do you really believe? You know, I, I might, like you're in the beginning, uh, Nali. You see now, because you are in the corner, you are the one who told me from the beginning, don't talk about the Bible. And each time you are in the corner, you jump to the Bible. Now, you know what? I will give you the mic. Pause the verse for me. It's saying that Satan was able to control my, my, my Lord. I'm talking, not I'm talking about the Satan thinking about trying. He did not try in here. He did. He did control your prophet. He made him do and say things. Claim to be word of God. And this is a contradiction for your Quran. Your Quran is saying, Satan have no power, no authority over my good people, over my good servants. This is a proof that Muhammad is not a good man from your Quran. Because if your Quran is the book of God, Satan should not be able to control Muhammad. And if you read the verse in the Bible, you will say, Satan, he have no way of control of Jesus Christ. He kicked him away. He said, you have no authority over me. And my kingdom is not from this world. The Satan, he can try whatever he wants, but he will succeed. The Lord kicked him away. Go away, Satan. But your prophet, he lived with the Satan as one. He spoke for Satan. He talked for Satan. He gave messages as if it is Quran. He is not only talking. He is saying verses as if they are from God, but suddenly they are not. They are from Satan. Again, we will give him the mic. He will jump again to talk about the Bible. He is the one who asked me not to talk about the Bible, by the way. Jesus, from the Bible you can see, he can cast demons out by saying words, go out. You're a prophet, he could not protect himself from demon. Demon controlling him. My Bible say, as long as you are mentioning my Bible, you know, we as a Christian, we can cast demons by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine how powerful his name is, just by his name. Your prophet, he could not be protected from Satan for one second. Even his God himself could not protect him. He did not say to him, and guys listen carefully, he did not say to him, I will protect you from those evil to do that again to you. No, all what he said, I will take it off. Which means the Satan, he can keep redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. Is that right? Because if the Satan, he was able to do it once, what is my guarantee that he will not do it again? and again, and again, and again. So, Nani Akbar, explain to me the contradiction of the Quran, please. When your Lord say, Allah, that Satan have no power over my good people. Is that a proof to us that your prophet is not a good man? Your mark. 